Welcome back to the program where this episode, quick look at the 12 Brews of Christmas 2023. The 12 beers I will be featuring here on the channel in December 23, um, 12 days straight. We're going to drop a new beer uh, each day, new beer review. And this is just a little preview of what we got coming up. So, Mad Elf, about five years since I've had this. A uh, holiday staple, right, in the craft beer world uh, from a Trogues Brewing Company. Right there, check that out. A lot of you have had Mad Elf out there. And uh, it is a 11% um, alcohol by volume. It says brewed with cherries. So this is um, one, five years since I've had it. I can't really remember exactly what I thought of it. Now, I did review it here on the channel, um, but I'm not going to go back and watch the review. My palate changes over the years, just like everybody else's, so uh, we'll see what we're in for this year. We'll slide it off to the side over here, and we will bring out uh, one from the Great Lakes Brewing Company out of Cleveland, Ohio. I know several of you that watch the channel have had uh, stuff from Great Lake Brewing Company. This here is called Cookie Exchange. It is a milk stout coming in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. It says, treat yourself to our seasonal milk stout brewed with special rotating inspired flavor. With a special rotating. So I wonder if each year they do a different flavor. I might have to do some research on that. But you see the holiday cookies on there, right? Uh, hence the name. Um, you know, cookie exchange. So, looking forward to that one. Have not had that one before. Uh, another one from Ohio. Uh, one I've, a brewer I featured lots of times on the channel, Fathead Brewing Company. Uh, this one here is Pimp My Slay. Pimp My Slay is a Belgian style Christmas ale coming in at 10.5% alcohol by volume. And as always, Fathead, chill out, man. Have a beer. So, definitely a uh, fun holiday artwork on that one right there. Uh, let's jump into one from uh, Taxman Brewing Company. Uh, one I featured here on the channel numerous times. As you know, if you've watched any of my Taxman reviews, uh, Taxman Brewing, I pick up on my travels. Uh, I live in Ohio, travel on to, Ohio, to Illinois, where I'm from, a few times a year to visit family. And... Um, typically stop and pick up uh, something from them. Usually it's around the holidays, so there's some type of sale going on at one of the liquor stores I, I stop at. So I usually get it for a pretty good price. Uh, four pack, I think it's like eight bucks for a four pack or something like that. So uh, this one here is called Frozen Assets. It's a Belgian style milk stout with cocoa nibs. So they're uh, Taxman Brewing Company. Uh, their uh, beers are always like tax themed, you know, tax names, uh, things like that. Uh, one from Columbus, Ohio, uh, Brew Dog Brewing. Now a lot of people out there, they're not big fans of Brew Dog. Um, listen, as you can see, Christmas Vacation inspired beer right here. Okay, that's what the theme is on this can. I'm a sucker for Brew Dogs. Um, weird, um, inspired beers. Iron Maiden to Lord of the Rings to I don't know what else I picked up from them. Uh, but I'll t typically pick up some of their like weird, uh, one off, um, seasonal type of, um, themed beers. And I, Christmas Vacation, one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. And as you can see right there, this one here is called It's a Beaut. It's a pecan or pecan, wherever you're from. Pecan and toffee, pecan and toffee stout. Okay. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, Seven and a half percent alcohol by volume. So a pecan and toffee stout. Definitely fun artwork. Definitely uh, fits the bill for holiday theme. Uh, another brewery from Cincinnati is. Ryan Guys Brewing Company, and this is another one. It's been about five years since I've had this, and this here is called Dad. It's a happy 
a happy a happy holiday L. Happy Holiday L coming in at six percent alcohol by volume. Uh, basically, it's a red L. So you see the Christmas colored, you know, flannel patterns on there. And again, it's been a minute or two since I've had, um, you know, that one. I'm, I'm thinking about five years. I think about the last time I had that Mad Elf uh, was when I had that. Now another one, uh, another in-state Ohio brewery, Warped Wing Brewing Company. Now, this one here is called Esther's Little Secret Coconut Cream Milk Stout. It's coming at 8.5% alcohol by volume. So look at the artwork here before I get talking about this again. Very cool holiday-themed artwork. Um, Esther Price is a chocolate company um, you know, here in Ohio. And Warped Wing has partnered with them and um, made uh, Esther's Little Secret. They've made different variants of that. This is just their uh, coconut, um, what is it, coconut cream milk stout version, which sounds absolutely delicious. Um, I th wanna, I thought it was, I didn't think they were all milk stouts. I know they're not. So this is just a milk stout from Warped Wing with um, Esther Price chocolate in it. So looking forward to this one here. I was actually pretty happy I was able to get that uh, in a single can. All these I wasn't able to get in singles. I had to buy a six pack, four pack, whatever already gave some of them away but uh anyhow another one that i knew right when i seen it i was getting it left hand brewing company this is their candy cane nitro imperial peppermint milk stout so candy cane screams the can label right uh let's see here what is this abv on this i wouldn't imagine it's going to be real high uh, no, I was wrong. Nine and a half percent alcohol by volume. It says super smooth for your enjoyment. Obviously nitro, right? So this here is one. Honestly, I can't wait to get into that one here. Uh, Imperial peppermint milk stout. And I believe I have another peppermint milk stout uh, in the mix here. So one that we got from R. Shea Brewing Company. So R. Shea Brewing I don't feature them enough on the channel, really, but they're a fantastic brewery. And this one's called a Candy Cane Milk Stout. It's a pastry milk stout coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. And just, again, another Christmassy, holiday-themed, um, you know, can art, label art. You got the, the candy cane to, like, I don't know, like a lollipop whatever colors candy cane colors there the red and white and these guys are out of akron ohio and that's one i'm actually looking uh, looking really forward to uh getting in on all right about to wrap it up here one more out of a uh, ohio brewery out of listerman brewing company and this one here is called exterior illumination it is a five percent alcohol by volume and they're calling it a winter l so I thought I had this one before. Um, seen a single can. And I wanted to get another Ohio themed beer when I was at, uh, you know, the Barrel House here today in Dayton, Ohio. And I thought, what the heck, man? I'm gonna grab this. Um, you know, I couldn't find record of having it, but then again, I really didn't put a lot of effort into it. Um, so maybe I've had it before. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. But it's definitely very fun looking artwork there. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of uh, puts you in mind of, uh, again, a Christmas vacation. You got the house with all the lights all over it there. Definitely kind of puts you in that mind, in that mindset. All right, so the last two are from Ellicottville Brewing Company. And Ellicottville, New York. Ellicottville Brewing Company out of Ellicottville, New York. Now, I've had a few from Ellicottville, and I think I've even done one around the holidays two or three years back. But uh, I actually picked these up on two different days at two different locations. And um, pretty, really pretty excited to uh, get this, get into these, really. So the one here, this is called Black Raspberry Truffle. Man, it's another one I thought I had had before, but I'm not sure if I have or not. Um, definitely, uh, looks pretty good. Looks, uh, looks, sounds pretty good. Um, black raspberry truffle. Pff, can't go wrong with that. And this one here is six and a half percent alcohol by volume. And I'm assuming it's just, um, 
uh, Blondel. This one's a Blondel. Blondel brewed with, uh, I guess, blackberry and raspberry truffle. So they collaborated with Platters um, Chocolate Company. Chocolate Factory, I'm sorry. Platters Chocolate Factory. And I've had them a collaboration with um, Platters Chocolate Factory before. I believe they might do this quite a bit or something. I'm not really sure. But uh, this one here is the Black Raspberry. And this one here is the Chocolate Peppermint Bark Flavored Stout. And probably a little bit higher ABV. Yeah, 7% alcohol by volume on this one here. And you see just kind of kind of the peppermint theme, the raspberry theme. So I'll start dropping these um, you know, mid middle of the month, somewhere in there. Um, so be sure that you are tuning in and uh, checking these videos out, checking these reviews out. I appreciate it. If you stop by, give them a thumbs up, something like that. That would be fantastic. Um, anyhow, you had any of these before? Drop a comment down there. Let me know what you thought about it. And um, like always, thanks for watching.